Hey everyone, History Mystery Man here coming to you today from the home office and I just wanted to briefly share with you my excitement for the next video coming out very, very soon. It'll be a mini-series, but it's so cool. Maybe one of my most favorite videos I've ever produced. It's so cool because it really digs back into the heart of why I love doing this. It digs back into the super interesting history of auto racing, uh, going back to those days, those pioneers that carried the industry with more courage than I can even imagine. Those men who climbed in those open cockpit race cars with their leather helmets and goggles and somehow, somehow survived it. Well, of course, many did not, but the men that helped carry the industry in the early days to get it to where it is now. That's what most interests me about the industry of auto racing, the early days, and I've got a great one here for you. In fact, you hear that? Oh, I love that. You hear that? Mm. Any idea what that sound is? What engine it came from? I'm dying to know if you know. I'd love to hear from you, so please comment if you're able. Any idea what that sound was that you just heard from that engine? It's going to be part of this video, which is why I'm so excited to bring this one to you. That and so much more. This may, The gentleman I interviewed may be one of the most brilliant men I've ever, ever interviewed and had a conversation with. So I'm so excited. Comment if you know where that engine came from, what it was. I'll bet you don't. I'll bet you don't, but I'd be grateful to hear from you just the same. So why do I keep doing this? Well, beyond the race fan that I am, and maybe that's a little too obvious sometimes, I know, uh, but it's really all about preserving the history of this sport. That's what I'm trying to do, preserve the history of the auto racing industry for future generations and have a heck of a lot of fun along the way. You know, telling the stories of the Allen Bars of the world, you know, I don't see that anyone's telling those stories. So, hey, I'm your guy, grateful to do it, and I want to keep doing it. And maybe even one day I can, hey, not a crime in America, maybe even one day I can earn a living uh, doing this. I'm a long way off, but uh, I, have, I have that goal, that dream. And you can help, by the way. Uh, maybe even one day while you're watching a video on YouTube, actually watching one of the commercials. And so that, that sounds kind of hokey, I know. Pain in the butt, I get it. You know, commercial comes up in five, four, three, two, one, click out. I do the same thing. I'm guilty. I click out and get right to the show. But maybe watch one every now and then, and I can earn a little income that way. Uh, beyond thumbs up, as always, hitting the thumbs up in my videos, I'd be grateful if you would subscribe. My subscriptions are on the rise. I'm very grateful. But hit the subscribe button. And when you do that, you'll notice there'll be a, a little notification bell that will come up next to the subscribe button. And I want you to hit that bell too so you can get the notifications on when my videos come out. As you know, I don't bombard you with videos. Maybe one a week. Big deal. And uh, hit that notification bell. And by the way, there's another step because there's a little drop down that comes from the bell. Uh, that'll give you options like all personalized or none. Well, don't choose none. That, that'll kill the, the ring, the bell. So choose all if you can so you can get those notifications. Subscribe to the History Mystery Man. I would be forever grateful. I will also drop a hint here. I do have some changes coming to the channel. All for the good, all for the better. Uh, same great content. I'm not going away. Man, you're, you're stuck with me. <laughs> so I hope you're good as good as that with that as I am. Uh, more than anything, I just want to thank all of you for helping this dream come alive in my world. Thanks for all your support and believing in me and your confidence in me to deliver this amazing content. I am so grateful for all the people, all the subscribers, all the people who watch me, and all the new people coming in and on every day. Uh, thanks so much. It means so much, and I am so grateful to each and every one of you. A special thanks to Denise Byrne, who's been helping me all along here over the last year or so, helping me understand and learn the business side of this. I got the fan thing down pat, yeah. Hey, man, you know, 
uh, you know, talking to Steve Kinzer, what a dream come true. I'm the world's biggest Steve Kinzer fan. And that's of course part of why I love doing this, but she's helping me with the business side and she's very technologically savvy, way more than I am, super smart. And I'm so grateful for her, Denise Byrne. I really appreciate you. And uh, finally, I leave you with a question. What is it that you want me to do? I love hearing from you guys. I'm hearing from South Africa, Ireland, uh, a lot of people from uh, Australia and New Zealand are checking in with me. Um, some great race. Hey, Australia, New Zealand. I love you guys. Um, they support auto racing and specifically American auto racing. They love it. And I'm grateful for you guys. And each and every time somebody from Australia reaches out to me, that is the coolest thing for me. I love hearing from you guys. And I want to keep hearing from everyone. I want to know what you want me to do. Um, this next video you're going to see coming up, the one I love so much, I had no idea this gentleman lived in the world, but somebody tipped me off. Hey, do you know about this guy over here? That's why I got in my car yesterday and put on about 450 miles round trip to go see this gentleman. <sighs> Gas prices. Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's killing me. It's killing everyone. That's another thing. I hope my videos bring a little relief for all the trouble in the world today. I hope you can step outside of that and, and sort of get lost in what I'm doing as I do. Uh, but let me know what you want to do. That's how many of my videos happen. I'm tipped off to a great story and I'll go get it. I'm going to Indianapolis Monday round trip. Uh, it's worth it for me. I, I, the travel, uh, it's just part of the job. And but, but another story that was tipped off to me. So what do you want to hear? What do you want to see? I'd be grateful to hear from each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. And we'll see you very, very soon. For the History Mystery Man, I'm Don Radeball. And I'll look forward to uh, your company real soon. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. How about that guy, huh? Yeah, I talked about Steve Kinzer being my hero. He is too. I mean, we sure could use an Abraham Lincoln right now. <laughs>